all right i want to welcome you back to another good time and tools today is rebuilding the jet pump the jet housing and the uh, carbon ring replacing the carbon ring on uh, the uh, acidu um they should be all around the same things so i'm gonna take you along just like i did the honda aqua tracks and i'm gonna start taking apart the jet pump and i'm gonna show you how it's done to where y'all can do it yourselves so i'm gonna cut you off to it see the slack in that thing right there. Let me pull that suck off. Do it. Oh, this is the GoPro. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I don't remember the name of it. I'm gonna put the name of it right here. But this little um, stainless fitting, there's a C-clip behind it because I'm able to expose it. Oh no, I see what it is. Okay. Okay. I see what needs to be done. Let me bring it back. All right, now you can see better what I'm seeing. So there's a little ring clip right here. So this slides back, so you want to take it and go back with it. I just took a screwdriver, a flathead, put it on the end of it right here, and I just lightly pushed and I was able to break it loose. And this is it right here. So I'm go ahead and pull that off from what it seems like, and this is, I'm doing this as I'm going, and this is my first time ever doing this. So from what it seems, this slides forward. Then now you can grab the shaft. I gotta prior it off the PTO. So prior it off the PTO.
Okay, now I can now I done put y'all back. So this little can this little uh clamp. I broke it. Loose, now I'm pulling it off. So that's it right there. Now I can take this, slot it like that. This boot comes off of it. See works off like that. And then all this should just slide off. Alright, so I was able to get this shaft off. Now this right here is gonna go towards the motor. This goes into the PTO. Now that the, the um, carbon ring and that little other piece, let me see, I actually have it right here. Let me see what it's called. Sure enough, there's nothing on it. Uh, support ring. So that goes on the back side with this clip right here and then the carbon ring goes right here and that boot goes over to both of them. And this is actually the carbon ring right here, the new one. So this is the new carbon ring. And as you can see, the old one, the old one has some wear to it. When if I did go around the jet ski, it was just slinging water inside the, the hole. Um, it was <laughs> it was pretty funny to see it happen. I've never seen it on a jet ski before, but that was one thing. So I was able to buy this. I did buy, this is uh, the bellow. That's what it's called, which is that rubber boot. So this is the one I had cut because I knew I had another one. It just made life easy uh, instead of fighting with it. So I do have the new one to put on it. This is that support ring. So this is the part, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but in there, there's a groove built into it. And that's actually where that, that little, this little C-clip goes. It's gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna put a list of all the part numbers that I use on this jet ski because I am rebuilding the jet housing and this is the carbon ring as well. And I bought new, uh, new clamps. Norma clamps. Never knew the name of them. Uh, but yeah, that goes so far. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the shaft. You can actually see that this thing was never taken care of. Look at the rust on this end. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. I'm gonna bring. So this is the jet pump. This is a 155. So this particular C2 GTI LE has the 155 jet housing. It took me forever to try to find it because theirs is actually right here. And as you can tell, I can't even budget. It. it is just it just it's beyond repair. It's all seized up. Um, so I went ahead and found them the entire housing, everything. So now they have spare parts just in case. Well. I did buy everything that I needed to rebuild this. So this is the seal that actually goes against the ski itself. And that part number is 293-200051. So that seal right here, it pulls out to change it. And you see how I took it off? See the lips facing up, flat part facing down. Go ahead and toss that to the side. And I'm gonna take this new one out. Okay, so next is the rebuild kit from SBT. That one is part number 72-109. So 
see these bearings as you've seen in previous pictures now I'm gonna go ahead and press one in from this side turn it around and press one in from the other side so I'm gonna go ahead and get to that now one thing I am doing is I got a camshaft lubricant or engine lubricant whenever you're building a motor it should be plenty enough I'm actually gonna put oil in here so I'm gonna take this and make sure all these bearings are real little though I'd rather do this before I install it because it's a lot easier and I can make sure that every all the needles are uh, or lubed up so as you can see I do have it set up it just is sticking to itself so we'll go ahead and place that in and put it in now as you can see it's sitting there flush so this is how it's gonna look. You got your two barons in there, and you got your seal. Okay, so this is actually how it sits. This is the shaft, the prop shaft, and this is the, uh, well, yeah, impeller shaft. And these are your two barons that you, I installed in here. This is that one lip, I mean that double lip seal, and this is your needle barons. That's gonna, so it actually, there's supposed to be a big washer that goes right here, but this one didn't have it, didn't have it. So this is actually how it comes apart. So it's gonna sit in there, yeah, like this. But your shaft should come out of there because uh, it's not press fit in there. So your two barons, so your one and your two, it comes right off. Then you have your double up seal. Of course, this goes to the bottom of it. Put that aside. And then you have these barons. Put that aside. Okay, so this is all lubed up. And take the shaft, put it on like this. And then you have this big washer, big machine washer. That's actually the barren rod zone. Okay, I actually went to install it the wrong way. So this is the shaft, as you see that big washer, and that barren that I lubed up. So it's gonna go from the back side right here where that nose cap goes in. This goes inside your impeller, and it's not reverse thread. So what I'm gonna do is on the back side right here, you see how it's how it's made like that. I'm gonna actually put a backup crossing wrench on it. All right, well, I ended up taking it back off and uh, I went and bring it, put some Loctite on the threads, red Loctite 247, I believe. And I went ahead and hit it with the uh, torque wrench at 52 foot pounds. That's so now what I'm gonna do is flip it on this backside right here and clean this up right here. So you're gonna take this, take my screws out. These are five millimeters, five millimeter. Go ahead and start the threads on them. And I'm not, I'm not showing you exactly on how to do it. I'm showing you how I've done it, you know, somebody basic, I'm not no expert. I don't think I ever will be, but I definitely am learning as I go to where I could be better the next time. So everything I do is for the normal person. Um, nothing that's bought a book or nothing like that, but it does get the job done. And I do take my time. If I see it's not right, I usually take it apart and do it again. All right, so this thing takes oil. I'm gonna put a cash in on how much it is because I don't know offhand right now, but this thing does take oil in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil in it. I could be done with that and I'm not running what they give me I am running pure synthetic Lucas oil I run that in all my engines um, I have my turbo razor that needs an oil change soon and that's actually what I'm gonna be putting in it as well uh, mobile one with either Amazon or mobile one with uh, half a bottle of that final piece is the little end for the impeller
thank you all for watching Good Time Tools or Good Times, whatever one you're watching. Now, I just finished this. I had to do a lot of work to this jet ski, and it finally paid off. I was able to rebuild the jet housing and redo the carbon ring, which is the last steps because it was starting to leak all. I mean, leak water inside the hole, and plus the uh, old jet housing was seized up, so I had to get them a whole other one. And I found out that this one is the 155 millimeter. Um, but as I said, finally got it done. Finally went rod it. As you can see. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go I'll take you to a place, we can see it all Step off the edge, I can break your fall